Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to update the firmware 1.4.1 on my Ledger Nano S. This is a very, very huge upgrade and the process has been a little bit complicated. So I will go through upgrading this myself and I'm going to link some instructions, the official instructions for updating the Ledger as well. One of the biggest reasons why you want to upgrade is that you can add more coins onto your Ledger. So before you can add three to four coins, your Ethereum, Bitcoin, and maybe it's just one more or like Neo and you run out of space. Now you can go for up to 18. That is a huge increase. So now you don't have to buy three different ledgers to keep all those different altcoins. You can just have one. So it means a huge amount of space improvement and also there's a security update in this as well. But however, with this update, there's a huge change into the way they do their OS. And that is why there is a little bit of a risk to upgrading. So just before you update, make sure you have that backup phrase. Make sure everything is backed up and make sure that backup phrase works as well. There were some users on Reddit that reported that their ledger was bricked, essentially unusable after the upgrade. So make sure you look at these official instructions. Make sure you read them carefully. There's one I'm going to link down below as well. That's officially from Ledger. And you want to really make sure that everything is backed up and secure before you go through this process. Also, as a special warning, if you're on a very old version of the Ledger former before 1.3, it's going to wipe your device completely. So all your coins will be gone. That means you want to back up or move those coins before updating. Just make sure you know what you're doing and read the instructions properly and you check the firmware before you start. So let's go and start off doing this. If you haven't already installed Ledger Manager, so you can find this on the Ledger website and you can just click get the app. It's going to install on Chrome. So it's a Chrome extension that's going to install. You click add to Chrome and add app. And then now it's going to show up here on your Chrome. So once you access your Chrome, now you can click the Ledger Manager. It's going to pop up this little cool window and on your device itself, you need to unlock it. So in this process right now, I'm just going to delete some of the apps on my ledger. So that's my Ethereum, my Bitcoin, and deleting these apps frees up space on the ledger, which is required for the update. So I'm just going to start deleting these and removing these. Removing these don't remove your coins, but do make sure that your backup phrase is saved up in case the upgrade um, process is unsuccessful. Okay, at this point, I have just settings on here, which means all the other apps are gone, and I'm pretty much ready to start the upgrade process. So in the update process, I'm going to click install. Once I hit install, it's going to tell me it's processing here. Now, this is going to ask me if I want to update the firmware. So just make sure that the identifier starts with 2E88 and the update is 1.4.1. Now it's going to tell you that the MCU is outdated. So what you want to do is you want to plug it in, but you want to hold the button close to the USB. So this is your left button here. So you want to hold this leftmost button here and then start plugging it in. So now that it's connected and it says bootloader on the screen, it's going to say the update. So at this point, it's absolutely important not to unplug your device. So if it pauses, if it's slow, do not unplug your device. So if you unplug your device at this point, there is a chance that you can completely destroy your device. So just don't do it. It will say installing firmware. Do wait. It might take up to 15 minutes, says the manual. And if your download speed is slow, it might take even longer than that. So just don't unplug your USB. Don't turn off your computer at this point of time. All right, for me, it took around three minutes because my internet connection is fast, but it might take much longer for you guys. All right, guys, so at this point, this is now updated to the latest version of 1.4.1. So you can see that here, that for the secure element is 1.4.1 and MCU is 1.5. So I'm adding the Ethereum app right now to check that if my Ethereum is around, you do have to reinstall all the little apps that you have done before. So just go through the process, allow the ledger manager yet again to do um, anything they want. And now you should be installing your stuff. It does take a little bit of time to install everything, but hopefully at the end of it, you're going to get your manager and stuff. So now I'm just going to check if my Ethereum is around. I'm going to close the ledger manager first. I've made sure I installed the Ethereum app and it shows up on my ledger. I'm going to clear the Ethereum wallet, enter that, Ethereum, opening up my wallet. 
and voila, I have 0.5 Ethereum there. So my coins aren't lost. They're in the device. My device is now updated to the newest Ledger Manager. Now, very quickly, I'm going to install all these other coins out there to see if my Ledger can really hold 10 plus different coins. All right, so, so far I try to install as many apps as possible. Now it's a test to see how many apps there are on it. So let's start with eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we got 10 so far. So I managed to get around 10 apps on my device. It really depends on which exact coin you're adding because the app for that coin might take a different amount of space. And that's why you can get 10 to around 18, depending on how complicated that kind of coin kind of is. So right now I've got 10 so far. It seems pretty cool. Leave a comment below if you guys did the update already and if you guys encounter any problems. This is quite a difficult upgrade. So do make sure you read up all the instructions. Read if there's any potential problems. And of course, make sure that back backup phrase is intact. And if you have a 12 word backup phrase, make sure that you know that it's going to be a upgraded 24 one. So that means you need to move your coins off before you do the upgrade. And also make a comment below if there's any confusion as well regarding this update. I would love to hear what you guys think about this. Make sure you click that little subscribe button down below to subscribe to this channel. And I've also got a playlist of all the ledger videos I made. So if you guys want to check that out, check it out on the side below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.